of the Catechism of the Council of Trent with regard to the baptism of adults teaches explicitly that the church is not, well, I'll put it in, in plain English, is not in a hurry to baptize adult converts, but she wants to delay that baptism to see that they are sincere and so that they learn the faith. Uh, that's not the same thing as, concern, as concerning the baptism of a child, of a little baby. The church is anxious to baptize the baby as soon as reasonably possible. But, and so the Catechism of the Council of Trent makes this distinction between the baptism of uh, babies, infants, and the baptism of adults. The church says uh, the church deems it best to wait um, to form that soul of the adult. Um, it is understood the baby is going to be raised in the faith. The adult is a convert who has not been raised in the faith and has to be formed in the faith. Therefore, the church says, give that soul time to really prepare itself for the grace of baptism. But the church also says, Catechism of the Council of Trent, with the baptism of adults, that if that soul uh, were to appear before God for judgment without having been baptized, the, the soul of that adult, if that adult did not receive the salutary waters of the sacrament of baptism, and it was not through his own fault, uh, that he had the intention to be baptized, and that he had the faith, and the intention to be baptized, and he also had contrition for his sins. The church says that it is the church's teaching that that would avail him unto grace, sanctifying grace, and justification from his sins. Not just justification from his sins, but grace as well. Um, this is quite contrary to the, to the teaching of a father, Leonard Feeney, you've heard about. Uh, but it's also quite contrary to the teaching of the uh, baptism of desire people who think any vague desire to be a nice guy, you know, automatically means you're a candidate for baptism of desire. It doesn't work that way. There are the liberals who've expanded the meaning of baptism of desire to include practically everybody who had a nice thought, <laughs> you know. This is what Father Feeney was reacting against. Unfortunately, Father Feeney, the Jesuit, reacted by denying the reality of baptism of desire at all. 